Stanley Cup playoffs far from over, but the Stanley Cup itself made a stop in St. Louis yesterday and today. The NHL is doing it to promote the playoffs and wherever the cup goes, here in our newsroom at this point, the keeper of the cup goes with it. News 4's Brooke Grimsley talked to the keeper of the cup about why he considers this a dream job. He might be one of the most interesting men in the world. I'm very honored and, uh, you know, privileged to be able to do it. Uh, you know, it's uh, the, the sport's greatest trophy. Or at least have one of the most interesting jobs. He started as a volunteer at the Hockey Hall of Fame and landed what he calls his dream job 10 years ago. Over time, uh, just things happen, right place at the right time, a little bit of luck. Howie Boro is one of the three keepers of the cup who look after it wherever it goes. We'll take turns because the cup is on the road over 300 days a year, so you can't do it yourself. You need a little bit of help. The busiest time of year for them is the summer when the cup is awarded to the final team standing. Once the, the, the team wins it, usually around mid-June, uh, they have the opportunity to celebrate with, uh, with the cup until the home opener in October. One of the perks of the job is that it takes them to different corners of the world. The keepers of the cup are just there in the background to watch over the cup when it's with the players. It's pretty exciting to be able to go from city to city all the time and we follow a schedule and uh, we do the best we can to keep up with the timing. In his 10 years, he's seen the cup used in various different ways. Players like to drink out of it and they'll eat out of it. Uh, I've seen anything from chicken wings to pierogies to spaghetti, caviar, you know, and they drink, of course, uh, beer and champagne out of it. Uh, I've seen babies in the bowl, christenings in the bowl. You know, do all kinds of fun things with it. Boro is proud to carry the cup around the country and the world to see the reactions of not just the players, but the fans. I never thought in my, you know, my younger day that there'd even be a job like this, but I'm very fortunate now and I'm very proud to be able to do it. Brooke Grimsley, News 4. He says he wears the white gloves out of respect of the cup, but encourages fans to touch it even kiss it if they would like to. People do all manner of things uh, apparently yep. with the cup. Well, the cup's next stop will be at the Kentucky Derby this weekend.